In this particular game, Kengis, who's one of the leading Grandmaster exponents of the Alakine, played bishop out to g4. This is a perfectly reasonable approach. Bishop comes out to e2, and note that in this position, black isn't threatening to take on f3, uh, because after bishop takes f3 by white, the b7 pawn hangs. So black's got to develop, to develop his knight first. Now he definitely is threatening bishop takes f3. So b3 is the usual response. OK, bishop comes to f6, and now white has two moves. In the game Mortis and Kengis, and this is the old main line, white castles. But white can certainly consider the move h3 first. And the main idea of this is that when black tries to transpose back into the old main line with bishop e6, uh, theory has basically discovered that this is the best square for the bishop. And note, white is not threatening d5 in this position because of the hanging knight on c3. White's idea is that he wants to play knight e4 here and nab the two bishops. Well, against that, I think black should definitely stick with a tried and trusted Alakine counter in the centre, d5, and now white enacts his idea. Knight takes f6 check, queen takes f6, and now c5, gaining space. And um, again, we encounter in a, si a situation in the Alakine where appearances are quite deceptive. It looks actually as though white is building up a pretty big advantage here with the two bishops, more space. But the fact is, you know, you can't take pawn moves back. And so, whilst white is gaining space with his pawn advances, he's also weakening his position to a certain extent. So, well, there was a game in a recent Czech team championship which went as follows. Um, knight came to c8. Um, white played queen d2. Black played bishop f5. Black's basic idea in a position of this type is to try and mount pressure on the d-pawn initially. Um, and he does this, well, you're seeing how he's doing it. He's planning to bring his bishop to e4, and then the knight on c8 comes into the game via uh, e7, then perhaps up to f5, after which the pressure on d4 starts to build. This will be one way of uh, handling the black position.